Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video was previously shared on the Alta New YouTube channel, but I thought you would enjoy seeing it here as well. Today I am going to be sharing two card projects featuring one, actually two die sets, but really the main focal point is going to be this Winter Village die set. And I'm also going to be pulling in the brand new Timeless Sentiments 3 Holiday Edition die set for my sentiments. But I wanted to show you how this Winter Village die set can really be used as a window element or a standalone die cut element. So we're gonna create two different cards. Now we are going to, of course, add a touch of sparkle because that's what I do here. <laughs> and we're gonna be doing plenty of die cutting so I'm getting everything ready. Now for my sparkle, I chose the Milky Way Glitter Cardstock set from Altenew. You can see all of these beautiful silvers and golds, but the one that I want to use is the Moonstone, and that's the white one right at the front here. This is a beautiful white glitter cardstock. It doesn't really have an iridescence, so it doesn't give off like a purple or a blue or a yellow hue. It's just plain white, which makes it perfect for a snowy background. Now, because I want this glitter cardstock to go an extra mile, I'm starting out by using the circle from the Winter Village die set to die cut my glitter cardstock. Then I'm going to take the mountain scene here, which is kind of designed to create a mountain window on the front of the card, which you'll see here in just a bit. And I'm lining up the edge of that with the edge of my die cut circle and running that through again. That's going to give me two different glitter pieces that are shaped a little bit differently. One will be the actual mountainscape. The other will be the skyline. Now I'm also pulling in some of the brand new Crafty Necessities cardstocks from Altenew. These are gorgeous. They vary in weight. So this is the Cloudy Sky. It's a 90 pound. The Pastel Sunrise is one of my favorites and it's an 88 pound. Coral Bliss is an 80 pound. And finally, Moss, and that's a 90 pound. And I thought that this made for a really fun and modern Christmas palette. Now I've cut these down with my trimmer to some more manageable sizes and I'm going to start doing all of my die cutting here. So the little rectangles at the top, those are the doors for the houses in the Winter Village die set and I've die cut those from the Coral Bliss cardstock and I will die cut this tree die which includes three different trees that are connected. I'm gonna die cut that three times from the Moss cardstock. I'm also die cutting my houses from that pastel sunrise and one of the large circles from the cloudy sky. Now I also grabbed some white cardstock and die cut all of these elements again so I could do a little stacking. This is going to give these elements a little bit of kind of weight on the front of the card. And you can see I tucked some vellum behind my house windows there to kind of give it a little snowy look. And for the roofs of my houses, I did bring in the dark chocolate cardstock. Now I'm finishing my little house off by adding my Coral Bliss door and I thought that was the perfect pop of a bright color. Now in addition to all the die cutting of the houses and the trees, I also die cut my sentiments from that Moonstone Glitter cardstock and I die cut the shadow layers from vellum. I'm actually gluing the sentiments directly onto that vellum shadow layer. I didn't add any extra layers or foam dimension at this point and I created three sentiments peace and joy believe and all is calm so now that I have several elements created I am going to work on card number one which is going to be a shaker card and I'm taking that partial circle mountain scene die and I'm die cutting it directly from my cloudy sky cardstock which is cut to three and three quarters by five inches and I am going to use this to create a shaker card. You can see how it creates that knockout scene. And in order to bring a little attention to the window, I'm taking some Winter Lake ink, fresh dye ink, and blending around the opening of that window on the card front. Then I'm going to flip this card front over. I'm going to add some liquid glue around the back side of that window and add a piece of acetate. That's going to hold all of my little shaker elements in this window. And then I will add my instant dimension foam tape, making sure that all of the edges kind of touch each other to keep everything where it needs to be. 
Now I took this piece of glitter cardstock that I cut earlier and I placed it onto a piece of white cardstock. This cardstock measures four by five and a quarter inches. And then I added my little shaker bits to that snowy scene because I know that's where my opening is. I removed the backer from my foam tape and then I added a little bit of liquid glue to the top of the foam tape because that gives me a little wiggle room to get this card front in place. So once I have my shaker front adhered on to that card panel, I'm going to start adding my elements. So I started with a few of these trees die cut from that moss card stock. And then I added my two little houses. On this card, I'm using two of the houses. And on card number two, I'm only going to use one house. Now I like to use liquid glue for elements like this because it gives me a little wiggle room to kind of push these up into place. But for my sentiment, I did add a little bit of foam tape on the back of that Believe sentiment, and I kind of nestled it right underneath the scene that I created. Once I had my sentiment in place, I felt like we needed one more little tree. And remember, those trees do have an extra layer of cardstock behind them, so I snuck that in there. Now I have some Dark Knight cardstock and my Essential Scoring Board from Alta New. I have cut my cardstock to five and a half by eight and a half and then scored it at four and a quarter inches to create a A2 card base. And then I will take this entire shaker card front and place it onto that card base. And that finishes off card number one, which is a shaker style card. Now for card number two, I wanted to show you how you can take this window kind of theme die set and create a standalone element. So I have my cloudy sky cardstock. I die cut it using that solid circle die from the Winter Village die set earlier. And then I have that second piece of glitter cardstock that we created using both the circle and the mountain scene. We're using both pieces here. And I've popped up that little snowy mountain scene onto that blue die cut circle that I added a little bit of Winter Lake ink blending. I knew I wanted my all is calm sentiment to kind of overlap this scene. So I adhered it on using some foam tape and now I'm adding in all of my little scene elements, including some trees and that tall skinny house. Now I also took one of the trees and kind of added it in front of the house just to kind of add different varying depths to the scene. So I have things that are adhered flat onto this winter scene and things that are kind of popped up. Now that I have my scene created, I'm taking this entire thing and adhering it onto a panel of Dark Knight cardstock. There is some foam tape behind the All Is Calm sentiment to kind of raise it up even with the mountain scene, but the circle itself is adhered directly onto that card front. Now I added another little tree kind of nestled in that sentiment. And now I'm creating my card base from some cloudy sky cardstock. It is cut to five and a half by eight and a half inches and then scored at four and a quarter. This time I'm creating a horizontal card. And so I've taken this entire card front. I did add a little extra layer of white cardstock in there so that it kind of ties into the first card. And I adhered this entire thing onto that card base. Now to finish these cards off and to give them a little bit of sparkle, I am using the Nebula Gem Sparkles. I'm using the small navy ones here and kind of nestling them here and about on both of these window cards. I thought that was a nice finishing touch. And this completes two cards with one die set featuring the Winter Village die set that's new from Alta New this month. I really hope you enjoyed a closer look at this die set and some of the ways that you can use it. And I hope you enjoyed these holiday cards that have plenty of shine. This die set can really be used year round for a variety of style of cards. And I think it would even be fun to make a housewarming card with this die set or even a whole little village of houses. Now, as always, you can find links to the featured products used in these projects in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there or you can head on over to the coordinating blog post. I'll have that linked in the YouTube description below as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information and a complete list of supplies. As always, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed these projects. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here so you don't miss any of the paper crafting and card making video tutorials shared. Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. 
Hey, thanks for sticking around to the very end. You know, if you've made it this far, you are one of my favorites. <laughs> to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click the button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.